Good, rainy, wet Sunday afternoon, Trinidad and Tobago. It is the 1st of July. The name of this video is 15 Days to Go. It's 15 days to go till the election. There's a by-election that is to be held in Belmont East, in Baratario. 15 days to go between, between now, just over 15 days. Well, actually, it is exactly 15 days, just over two weeks. Between now and that election. While we're talking about that, 15 days to go, the constituency of Belmont East today is flooding. Belmont East is two blocks up from the Queen's Park Savannah. So this is no jungle place. This is something that's supposed, and I'm not saying that the jungle, I mean, anything, when I say not a jungle place, I mean, it is not a place that is outside of the infrastructure of the country. Belmont is the oldest suburb of the city in the country. So Belmont is supposed to have infrastructure and it's supposed to have a maintenance schedule. Right now, Belmont flooded. Right now, Belmont is flooding. Right now, the most famous spot in Belmont East, Pigot's Corner, right now, flooding. Right now. Flooding right now. And the people of Belmont East have to deal with the fact that in two weeks, they have an opportunity to vote for somebody other than the PNM who have been running that constituency for 30 years and have never solved basic infrastructural problems like flooding, like drainage, like meeting the basic needs of the people. Right now, no matter what is going on in Belmont East, you're on your own. There's nobody for you to turn to. The regional corporation office is closed. There's nobody there. If a tree fall in your yard, if a lamppost fall in your house, if the place flooded and you're going on there, they have nobody for you to call. Because that's not how the PNM runs the country. That's certainly not how the PNM runs Belmont. So to the people of Belmont East today, if you need a reason why to vote for somebody other than the PNM. I want to say somebody other than PNM. Don't get choked. Don't get tired. It can't be the UNC. The UNC is another stunt out of side. Because right now, as we speak, central flooding too. So UNC can't talk. They've not done the job. We've spent billions of dollars in local government and have done nothing with the money but fatten contractor friends to play one for me, one for you, with ministers and councillors and party leaders. Trinidad and Tobago is broken by design by theft. Trinidad and Tobago is broken by design by conspiracy. Trinidad and Tobago is broken by design by a ganging up of people who live large and sit in the front pew of the church, at the front of the temple and the mosque. People who you think that is high society in Trinidad and Tobago have ganged up on this country and has advantaged it to the point where 56 years later, the oldest suburb of the city of Port of Spain is flooding. First day of rain in the rainy season. I tell you, big heavy rain. We've had heavier rainfalls than this. This is just rain. It's just consistent rain. And your rainfall Drainage mitigation plans should take into account your average rainfall because it should. Because this is not the first time, although, and, and I grant you that the PNM behaves every time rain falls like it is the first time we are experiencing this phenomenon. Because they're not carrying on like they have a plan. Now, while this is going on, I'm not trying to make you laugh. I'm really trying to get you back. While this is going on, WASA and the Ministry of Public Utilities are calling for the people to conserve water because we're drowning in fresh rainwater from the sky. But it's too much magic, too much science to hold it, treat it, purify it, and distribute it. That makes too much sense. The PNM doesn't work by sense. Because the, to the PNM, the people of Belmont, who are leaning towards the Progressive Empowerment Party, obviously, they're not distracted enough. We need to distract them more. 
We need to unleash the media to stunt with Philip Alexander and make that the conversation, but we have a plan for that. But more importantly, the PNM's plan for the people of Belmont, I shit you not, is two days before the election, Stuart Young is coming in his leotards with friends to teach Belmont Zumba at Piggott's Corner. Maybe Faris will come and do his little martial arts dance every now and then that they need to distract people with. Because the truth of the matter is, if you are running for a, a constituency or a district that you already control, you cannot be talking, and I'm giving them a heads up and a tip. You cannot be talking. Hey, God, Christopher, pleasure to have you on board. As I see you warning about the um, interview Monday. I might fall sick Monday. You cannot be running. I'm just kidding. I come in. You cannot be running for a constituency or a district that you, that you already control and talking about what is wrong in the constituency. The PNM cannot be campaigning for elections in Belmont East and be talking about what is wrong in Belmont East, especially as the PNM has been in control of Belmont East for more than 30 years. The PNM is control of central government. Stuart Young is the member of parliament that includes Belmont East. And the PNM has, control and has controlled that municipal corporation for the past 30 years. So if the PNM in 30 years, could not solve or manage garbage pickup, garbage distribution, water, flooding, drainage. If you have to live in an area where you have no water in your taps, but your constituency and your community is flooded, something way wrong. Something wrong. And you have to ask yourself, how could these people have the audacity to knock on my door? How could they ring my doorbell, come by my gate? How could they look to shake my hand? My people living in fear. That's what Belmont have to think. Because when it gets dark in Belmont, when it starts to get dark in Belmont, two people come alive. The victims and the victimizers. Life not easy in places like Belmont. They have nobody fear to call. They have nobody fear to call. You hold your corner. You know your business. You look where you're supposed to look. Trinidad Trinidadians, and Tobagonians, for the most part, have learned to tolerate foolishness. We've learned to put up with a broken nation that does not have to be broken. It doesn't have to be this way. You do not have to tolerate a Port of Spain city corporation that does not know how to manage the city and the environment. You do not have to tolerate that. There is no amount of bullshit that they could give you, could make you, the people of Belmont, understand why your community is flooded right now and you have no water in your taps. That making any sense? That making any sense at all? And the PNM want to come and give you Zumba classes? You can't get jobs, you can't afford food, you can't spend money to fix up your home. Your community flooding. They have no water in the taps. Round the corner from you is the Port of Spain General Hospital where good poor people go to suffer. What? What have you gotten in exchange for your vote? Belmont is. And to the people of Belmont Terrace, you have nothing to fear with the Progressive Empowerment Party because the Housing Development Corporation and the money that was spent to build those apartments that you live in, that didn't come from PNM pockets. That came from the Treasury. That was always your money. And if it is one thing the Progressive Empowerment Party is clear about, and we've said this before, anybody living in an HDC house, we will regularize your ownership of the house. And if you're renting from somebody, we will terminate that rental, terminate the ownership the other person has, because you're not supposed to take HDC houses and rent them out. That's not what HDC is for. The Housing Development Corporation was created to assist people get into a home, not assist people to become landlords. So we will undo that and fix it. So if you are living in Belmont Terrace, we will regularize your ownership of your apartment and we will make sure that it is like your community around you, properly maintained and run. 
So everybody in Belmont, because I used to ask, Belmont is such a beautiful community, it's just people for your crime. And anywhere they have poverty in this country, because they have no hope for people, people who end up desperately poor end up committing crimes. From the poor we get crime. And that's sad, because there are a lot of people who are very interested in making children into a criminal society from the top down. They want to justify all of these crazy, mad laws Faris al Rawi writing. They want, to, they want to eviscerate civil liberties and human rights. They want to shut down social media so only the PNM-centric media could tell you what to think and what you're allowed to know. Saturday, go on. This Saturday, right here, the Progressive Empowerment Party had a curriculum, our second major fundraiser, sold out. Sold out completely, and I'd like to say a special thank you to all of the people, the supporters, the friends, the well-wishers, all of the PEP overseas, New York and Canada, who bought lunches that we could we could have also taken downtown and to the Quasi to feed the homeless. Thank you all very very much, and to all the PEP members and all the friends again who assisted in the setup and the operation. Thank you very much. I know it was World Cup time. It was World Cup. And for you all to make time and take time to do this, much appreciated. But in two weeks, Belmont East has a chance at a lifeline. In two weeks' time, Belmont East has the opportunity to vote a firebrand onto that council. Because make no mistake, you know, Felicia Holder is worth 10 of who sit in there now. And she has the might of the Progressive Empowerment Party behind her. So they can't stunt and play the ass for her. And I know that she can handle her stories. And I've given both her and Christoph Samlal my full commitment that they can rely on me at moments when they need assistance in managing the council. You see, this party, the Progressive Empowerment Party, is taking all 16 regional corporations to task right now. All municipal corporations, all city corporations right now are on notice. They've been served with notice. Freedom of information requests regarding the kiss making company masquerading as cradle baking industry, ma ma masquerading as helping entrepreneurs illegally vending on the side of the road. And we're going to be taking all of these same municipal corporations to task because they have CEOs and chairmen and mayors who have been conspiring to break the law. And a party, not in government, not in opposition, will bring all of them to justice. Watch and see how the law works. And this is what we tell you, and we promise you this, the might of the Progressive Empowerment Party, vote it into office, vote for Licia Holder onto that council and watch change come to Belmont, because we will make sure change comes to Belmont. We will make it happen, and we will use every material office of state to ensure that it happens. As I said, for Licia Holder, she not easy. Put her on that council as your representative, Belmont is and she will wake it up. She will make sure that the services that you are supposed to get as burgesses of the Port of Spain City Corporation, you get that and more. She will ensure that you get roads, affordable food, water in your tap, security. We will agitate for things outside the remit of the regional corporation just to demonstrate the commitment of the Progressive Empowerment Party to be the change you never knew we always needed. It is time that the people of Trinidad and Tobago voted into office every chance we get, every opportunity we get, every position that comes available. Vote a progressive empowerment party representative into there because you voted a soldier, a warrior, a strong representative, somebody that goes there to seek your interest. It is time. It is time to stop voting stunt artists and jokey jumbies into office. We've had too many games and plays. We've had too much nonsense. What has passed as government in this country has never been about the well-being of the people. It's all been about filling fat cats' pockets and ministers coming from car for a car to drive in multi-million dollar car. There have been contractors in this country that start off five years, five years ago bouncing check all over town. And now they are billionaires. Our money jumping up. Our money jumping up. But you see, you're living in a time where change has come and is sweeping the whole world. And Trinidad and Tobago can't leave itself behind. Trinidad and Tobago cannot be distracted by foolishness. And I'm seeing that you're not being distracted by foolishness. Eh? I am watching Trinidadians face up to the nonsense of the PNM that looking at this Keith Rowley administration and asking, 
Where was the leadership all these years? Keith Rowley, who told the nation that his PNM government, of which he was a part, was the most corrupt government in this country's history. Keith Christopher Rowley, who told the nation that he was a part of the most corrupt government in this country's history, and yet sat for six years. Six years. If you don't remember what that sounds like. To the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. Listen to him. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. He went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. This video was made in the Parliament in 2009. Listen to what he says. As a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PNM Minister, and told him that there was big rigging taking place in Unicot. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is ten times worse than what happened with Piaco Airport. And we know that what happened in Piaco Airport under Bastio Pande was billions of dollars stolen. That still has not been resolved and we promise to resolve that as well. But let us stay on point because in 2009, Keith Christopher Rowley told the nation standing up in the parliament that he went to the prime minister in 2003 and told him that there was massive bid rigging and corruption taking place in Unicot 10 times worse than Piaco. And if Piaco was a billion, he took in 10 billion. How did Keith Rowley justify sitting in that cabinet, in that parliament, in that government, eating cabinet food and drinking cabinet wine? Worse, in between the 2003 when he went to the Prime Minister and now that he was fired because when Patrick Manning was given a choice between Keith Christopher Rowley and Blue Eye Cold Heart, it was an easy choice to make. Every one of them have had their own Blue Eye version of themselves. Every one of them have been serving a massa higher than the people. Every one of them, every Prime Minister this country has ever had, asked the people of Trinidad Tobago about Eric Williams and Johnny O'Halloran. You live in a country where there are members of the government that had keys to the jail. Every version of the PNM has been a sellout. Sell out the masses to a handful of people. To a handful of controllers. Manning had called a heart. Eric Williams had Johnny O'Halloran. Look at Keith Rowley's inner circle. Look at it and tell me. Because when I go to the Equal Opportunities Commission, I'm going to be asking all of these questions. But I want to tell you something. In between 2003 and 2009, there was an election. There was a general. There was a. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad. There was a general election in Trinidad and Tobago between 2003 and 2009. And this jackass, this son of a bitch, this kid Christopher Rowley, who told the nation that he went to the Prime Minister in 2003 to tell him about massive bid rigging and corruption taking place in that government, in that cabinet of which he was a part. He not only sat there and ate cabinet food and drank cabinet wine, but in the election of 2007, Keith Rowley defended it. Keith Rowley. I went to the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago in August 2003. As a Minister of Government in Trinidad and Tobago, a PNM Minister, and told him that there was bid rigging taking place in Unicot. What the Commission of Inquiry is looking at is 10 times worse than what happened with the Apo Airport. What he just told the nation is Patrick Manning and Bastille Pandey are two thieves. That their governments have been two rapacious, plunderous, pillaging governments. That is what he is telling, that is what he was telling the nation in 2009. That in 2003, when he went to Patrick Manning to tell him that there was massive bid rigging and corruption taking place in Patrick Manning's government, he was also telling him it was 10 times worse than the massive bid rigging and corruption that took place in Bastille Pandey's government. So he had admitted in one conversation with the nation that both parties, the PLM and the UNC, were rotten to the core and were raping this country. And it's even more brazen. The PLM is on trial. The PLM is on trial. Even more brazen. The PLM is on trial. Because those of us, those of us, 
Who are you and carry the, 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 the O'Halloran stain? You hear he talk about the O'Halloran stain? Because Eric Williams' man of business was Johnny O'Halloran. That was the massa that Eric Williams served. Like Patrick Manning's massa was called a heart. Look around around me. Because look around the PNM. Every single time the PNM get into government, it is people that you do not think would be in the front line waving balise benefiting. And I want to find out. And I'm going to ask questions. Because Chenadas don't be fooled, you know. Lawyers are cheap. And doctor lawyers are cheap. So when a man gone before the Equal Opportunity Commission as a journalist who admitted by his own words that he start all the bacchanal with me and he have a phalanx of big shot lawyers follow the money, see who pay them lawyers and they will understand that it is not me fighting a little two by four journalist but this is the PNM coming at me to shut me up in every way and means that they could but come back to this issue here because I want you to hear when Keith Rowley talk about the stain of O'Halloran when they were building back the PNM. Hear where Keith Rowley went to campaign. Hear the people Keith Rowley hold in high esteem. Eh? Because I want to tell you, Diego Martin West starts at Bagatelle. Diego Martin West starts at Bagatelle and comes down the road. Bagatelle, Covin, Rich Plain, Factory Road, Mason, La Puerta. Then you bounce up Goodwood Gardens. West Morins, but in the back there they have Sanganga, and then beyond that you bounce up Columbus Circle, Bayshore, Glencoe, Goodwood Park, and then it's Abi Puja, Big Yard, Scorpion, and the rest of Carnage. Listen to the people he campaigned by. We cannot take the position that this is all talk. In 1986, when we went to campaign in my area, I was there. I don't know who else was there. I was there. And you're going door to door. And you're slamming doors in your face in West Moorings and door to door. And you're slamming doors in your face in West Moorings and Glencore in Bayshore. And all they tell you about is. And you're slamming doors in your face in West Moorings and Glencore in Bayshore. And all they tell you about. The man didn't go door to door in Bagatelle. Keith Rowley didn't go door to door in La Perta. Keith Rowley wasn't speaking in that parliament to Factory Road, Covin, and Rich Plain. Keith Rowley didn't give a damn about Abi Pujad, Big Yard, Scorpion, Sandanga. He didn't care about them. Keith Rowley was the member of parliament for Goodwood Park, Bayshore, West Morins. By their own fruits, you will know them. Listen to him. Face in West Moorings, in Glencore, in Bayshore, and all they tell you about is O'Halloran. And today, today, every school child in this country knows that there's something called Utica, and it smells to the high heavens. It smells to the high heavens. If this country cannot call to order its prime minister and its cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. Why should cannot call to order. If this country cannot call to order its prime minister and its cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. If this country cannot call to order its prime minister and its cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then if this country cannot call to order its prime minister and its cabinet and his political party to say we, we are, are not accepting this. If this country cannot call to order its prime minister and his cabinet and his political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. Why God help us all? And the PNM and all of their miscreants and little machineries and minions that they're trying to send to shut the people, the progressive empowerment party up. You're in for a rude surprise. We have the time, the length, and the inclination. You know for certain we have the following. It is shocking you to the point, keep rolling, that you have to send Stuart Young in a leotard to do Zumba the two days before the election. That's what they're giving you. That is your solution to your flooding. Belmont East right now while we have in this video. Bigots Corner underwater. People looking to sweep water out of the house. 30 years of PNM control 
Port of Spain City Corporation and the people of Belmont East have lampposts falling down, wires trailing, nation flooding, no water in the pipe, no security, nothing of material value to say that we benefited in any single way from having the, the PNM as our representative in government. If this country cannot call to order its Prime Minister and its Cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. On the 16th of July, a little, a little over two weeks, 15 days from today, the people of Belmont East have the opportunity to agree with Keith Rowley and call to order its government, its cabinet, its PNM political party and say we are no longer accepting this. The value of property in Belmont East should be a lot higher than it is. It is the oldest suburb in Trinidad and Tobago, the oldest suburb of the capital city. Look at the condition of Belmont. Drive through Belmont. Drive through Belmont. Belmont kisses Gonzalez over the hill to Lavantel and Mova. Look at where it starts. Look at the contempt the PNM has had for these people. I want you to understand all of these fights and all of these battles. They're taking Philip Edward Alexander in every court and done by a tennis racket. I expect to be summoned to a tennis court soon. Watch the games they're playing. Keith Christopher Rowley thinks, he thinks he, has, he can match wits with me. He thinks his little stunt games where he could put everything as a, as a conversation between the opposition leader legs. He thinks I have any respect for him because he is the prime minister of the country. But when little Fane Richards from TV6 was interviewing him, she married, he married, live on national TV, son of a bitch pips in the gill to take her out a drink. Why didn't take that before the Equal Opportunity Commission? <coughs> If this country cannot call to order its Prime Minister and its Cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. Why? God help us all. If the people of Barataria and Belmont East do not use this opportunity on the 16th of July to send a message that the Orange Army is coming to sweep clean this nation, that the Orange family is taking root, that the people of Trinidad Tobago is finally getting a government that understands that the well-being of each and every citizen. I watched some PNM stunters. We had to do a live video because we went to feed the homeless people after our curriculum yesterday. Because every time we have something, we share food with them. Because the overseas supporters of the PEP, led by Ali G and the Senators in Canada and 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 Japan, Nathaniel and them in Florida, and now Jackie Onassis was building in, in, in Australia. We have people who support this party, who send money and say, listen, we can't come to the barbecue, we can't come to the curry queue, we want to buy a 50 tickets and 100 tickets, and we want you to go and feed it to the homeless. So we did that, and we filmed that live. So you got it live, not scripted, not stunted. What we were experiencing, a man arguing with me, he get four OT, come for eight more. He's standing up there covered in chop wound and bullet wound. And I think to myself, how could this man's life have been so hard? His entire body is a checkerboard of injury. He missed an eye. This is a citizen of Trinidad Tobago. Reduced, devolved, almost uncivilized. How could we have done this to people? Look at that video and look at the hunger. Look at the desperation in these people. The Progressive Empowerment Party will end hopelessness, homelessness and hopelessness in this country once and for all. We have a plan that we've inherited from the Jericho Project called the Second Chance Foundation. And the Second Chance Foundation, the plan is basically to identify why you're homeless. There are different reasons. There are mental illness, drug abuse, or people who just fall through the cracks. And each of those situations could be amended and could be addressed. The people who have mental illness need to be treated with care and dignity. It is a sickness and they need to be respected as citizens of the Republic and treated with care. The people who are drug addicted need to be rehabilitated and brought back into society. There are reasons people become drug addicts. It's escapism. We know that the science is there. There is rehabilitation abilities to get people back on track, get them well-organized, motivated, set on fire for their own development and let them go. We have plans for all of that and to the people who just literally fell through the cracks. We will make sure home ownership is the most important thing in this country. 
If we make sure that every single citizen who have a job could own a home, even minimum wage earners, especially minimum wage earners, we will undo and redo the madness that is society in Trinidad and Tobago. All of a sudden, mommy and daddy will be able to sit down home and raise their children, mold their minds, establish their characters, help them with homework. You think the people of Mova, Beetham, Lavender, and Seelots don't want what the people of Westmore's Bay Shore, Glencoe, and Goodwood Park have? You don't think so? They do. You think Rich Brain different than Mocha? People is people. All of is one kind of people. Catch us does make you have to do things you didn't want to do because man have to survive. And if you have to work three jobs to put food on the table for your children to eat your feed in them. But who raising them? Who raising them? And like Jackass says, when I went to do the video about Fatima College and Mokorapo, and somebody tell me not everybody from Fatima succeeds and not everybody from Mokorapo fails. Duh! Nothing is everything. But we looked at one was regarded as the lowest school in Trinidad and one was regarded as a prestige. And all I was saying is, raise the lower one to the standard of the higher one. All of the excuses that you wanted to give me, all of the advantages and the benefits that Fatima had, why in Christ's name, we couldn't get that from Okarapu. You all stayed this close from going down a racist, classist, elitist, separationist path. And that is not your fault. You've been told that by politics. Politics has told you there are two types of people in Trinidad and Tobago. People who deserve and people who don't deserve nothing. But I want you to understand this. In those two schools separated by a field and a street, the people who are growing and coming of age in both of those schools if everybody don't have a chance, a hope, an opportunity, the students of one will prey on the students of the other. Because man must survive. In a country so badly broken, even crime is organized by blocks and streets and controlled by crime captains and overlords. This is a nation where the Coast Guard doesn't leave dock until it is told to. There's a country notorious as a narcotics pipeline. We do nothing to stop the flow of drugs. We buy boats to park them up at hearts, cut and shatter and must stunt and pose and pretend that we have a coast guard. They ain't guarding shit. They ain't guarding nothing. Our helicopters are an hour flying time away from the theater of operation in Cedros, where they need to be, but we're not putting them there. Because if we put them there, they will interrupt the flow of guns and drugs that are needed for the criminal enterprise that is Trinidad and Tobago. A country this tiny, we have gangs. A country this small, we have terrorist training camps. In New York City, they have a population eight times Trinidad and Tobago. Their murder rate is half ours. We have 5,000 police, they have 65,000 police. We have more corrupt and criminal police than we know what to do with. And in the New York City Police Department, internal affairs is take you out as you raise your head. So you tell me, in a country this wealthy, the middle class is dying. You cannot access credit. You cannot access finance. You cannot access, access foreign exchange. In a country this wealthy, this blessed, this properly positioned on planet Earth, Trinidad and Tobago, this land, this paradise on Earth has been reduced to a shell of a nation because right now on the corner, Pigot's Corner in Belmont East, they're stunting for them people's votes, but they can't give the people any kind of representation at all. If this country cannot call to order its Prime Minister and its Cabinet, and his political party to say we are not accepting that then God help us. Why? We are going to ask every question. We are going to turn over every stone. We are going to pull back every curtain and drapery hiding the bullshit theocracy that is that has positioned itself like a parasite sucking the life out of this democracy created itself into what we call the contractocracy. It is a joke. We know it's oligarchs. It is people who sit and smoke cigars and drink aid scotch and plan how your children suffer. How your life goes. Five billion dollars is spent. Five billion dollars is spent on public health in this country and not one single person working in public health could explain where it goes. This is a country that spends a billion dollars a week 
We spend a billion dollars a week. They're ready for me, you know. They want us to shut up because we're not selling out. We're not interested in linking up like Michaela and the Pact and them. Pour yourself into a little party and say, we wait waiting, eh? Like MSJ, Rocky and the boys, Handle Winner, Bag of Money Politics. That's what they're playing. So people say, Phil, you're nice, you're cute, you're sweet, you're intelligent, you have the gift of the gab. Talk nice, and all. I want to talk gumdrops and rainbows. But the media, the corrupted and biased media that hiding our message from you, the only time you hear it is when I talk on a live video and people say, I like how he say it, eh? but I love what he say. Listen to this. Somehow that works. Somehow that is the lever. Somehow my ability to say it this way is the fulcrum that brings the message to you. That despite there being a total media blackout, the Progressive Empowerment Party has grown as the fastest growing political party in this country's history. The old people say night does run till they catch it, you know, and they can only do this for so long. Castania News Day, he see me come in. Sabga and Sabga News Media, I think little Nicola Sabga talked to him on the phone. He said, Phil, I can't get no coverage. You just bad talk to the family. Nicola Sabga kiss my half red ass. As long as your family doing thing that I can call you out for, you're getting called out. You don't like that? Don't do shit. Every boat must ride the tide in this country. Everybody must have equal opportunity. And if you think you're better than anybody else, wrong man to try that shit with. Sabga see me come in. They know. They know that this is not the same. Don't get me wrong. I am a capitalist through and through. And I believe that everybody in this country should have every opportunity to maximize whatever they want their potential to be. If you want to be a chanting yogi, or you want to be a captain of industry, like yourself. Like yourself. But as Khalil Gibran said, don't throw your garment in the next man's path. Make sure that your existence and your ability to go forward doesn't come at the expense of somebody else. This entire corrupt and criminal PNM government, it is time the people of Trent Tobago stood up to it. You have to. We have to fix this country. We have to clean up our police service. We have to undo and redo what passed for court system in Trent Tobago. There's no administration of justice. The judges will tell you. The lawyers will tell you. It is creaking and moving along, but it is not moving. I had to tell a man today, <laughs> you know what? I tried very hard. People just tell me, don't put people on blast. But you see, those people just come and attack me. Just come and attack me. And what am I supposed to do? Sit down and say, them attack me. I know, you, I, know what you, I know what you did. I know who you are. I know what paid for your car and your house and your girlfriend and your ex-wife. I know all your business. Don't come at me. I tell people already, if you don't want nothing, don't start nothing. I that kind of fella. Look around at the people in the Progressive Empowerment Party. Look at the type of people that is building this party. Contrast and compare them to the Noarians in the PNM and the UNC. Look and you will see. In this country, there are judices and sellouts everywhere. They want to go in the courts and argue terminology. We will argue terminology because that same stunting jackass told the world that when he was in TV6 News, they used to block me. Look at that. Unprovoked. You provoke us. And as we instilled say, if you're a journalist blocking politicians and you're fighting politicians and you're bad talking politicians, you're not a journalist, you're a politician. Come down in the gaia and take wood. Don't play that you're coming to give man talk to play assassinating character that you're going and stunt and call me a fool and the pep members fools and when we slap you behind the back of your head running for mommy and papi and big brother to come and fight for you. You start this, finish it, apologize. You, Kijan Haynes, you supposed to apologize because you start this and you're making up stuff, photoshopping stuff and taking that. Anyway, we're going to deal with all of that. We're going to deal with all of that. I'm standing by what Keith Rowley say. <coughs> If this country cannot call to order its Prime Minister and its Cabinet and its political party to say we are not accepting that, then God help us. Why should people be sacrificed so as to allow others, wrongdoers, to prosper? So as to allow others to be sacrificed.
accept him not to pray to God in heaven. Why should you be sacrificed? Why should you be sacrificed? So as to allow others, wrongdoers, to prosper. Why should you be sacrificed? So as to allow others, wrongdoers, to prosper. Why should people be sacrificed? So as to allow others, wrongdoers, to prosper. Keep Christopher Rowley. You and your band of never do wells and malcontents, the miscreants that make up your government. I know you see me come in. You want to be a man? Stop hiding behind little jokey journalists and sycophants and trolls on Facebook. Stand your ground. Your name, man. You want to play? You like to talk? Talk with me. Let's debate. I tell you, I'll come inside Barry's house. You control the game. You control the lighting. You control the microphone, brother. I just want the opportunity. I want to show you and bring Kamala too, bring Pandey and Michaela, bring the whole bunch. I will stand up on one leg and tie two hands behind my back. I want to show Trinidad and Tobago the kind of jackasses you've been electing to office, masquerading as government, putting poor people on the breadline, advantaging the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Hear him, that man. God help me. Why should people be sacrificed so as to allow others, wrongdoers, to prosper? That is what we've been called upon to do, colleagues. That's what we called upon to do. And those of you, those of you who think that I'm being obstructionist and I'm being whatever you want to do, what we are being called upon to do by a small clique of people in the country is to support wrongdoing, pretend not to, to do by a small clique. What we are being called upon to do by a small clique of people in the country is to support wrongdoing, pretend not to know, and see if we can ride it out. What we are being called upon to do by a small clique of people in the country is to support wrongdoing, pretend not to know, and see if we can ride it out. What we are being called upon to do by a small clique of people in the country is to support wrongdoing, pretend not to know, and see if we can ride it out. All 41 of them need firing, and you have the responsibility. Let me tell you something here. This is never about me. And if you know me, and the people who know me, and when you meet me, as realize, I just talk straight, you know, I want your vote. I mean, we doing the job, but I'm lying to you to get your vote. Don't feel like come here to stunt. Don't feel like come here to suborn my principles or sacrifice my integrity to link up or line up or get networked and get into government. This is not what it is about. We want to fix Trinidad and Tobago. We want to undo and redo everything that is of material value to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. We understand, clear as a bell, lucidly clear, that the well-being of each and every citizen is the function, purpose, and reason for government. That keep Rowley, Church and Kamala and Munila and all the rest of them that stunting and posing and playing the ass. Well dressed megalomaniacs and high functioning sociopaths you have in Parliament. Their role, their purpose, their salary is predicated on the flooding that is taking place in Belmont East today. But the people don't know that. Because if the people of Trinidad and Tobago were aware for a minute their power, None of this could go on. If the people of Trinidad and Tobago put aside this racist bullshit and stood together, none of this could happen. Trinidad and Tobago is a blessed and beautiful nation. We could have the best country in the world. This little Trinidad and Tobago, all the homeless people, everybody who's suffering. We could empty the jails of all those people who are stranded in jail, they can't afford a lawyer, and they can't afford bail, so they're stuck. We could fix all of that. We could undo and redo. We could turn our jails into universities. So people, when they get caught on the wrong side of the fence, when they go to jail, they get turned around and come out as fully contributing members of society. All of that is the purpose of government. Government job is not a punish and shame. That's a government job. Government job is to treat with every single citizen like they deserve to be treated as heirs to the nation of Trinidad and Tobago. We are all, we are all, equal before the law. We are all 
equal before every office of state. The Constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago that speaks government into existence, that Constitution of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, before it recognized Prime Minister, President, Police, or Parliament, it recognizes first the people of Trinidad and Tobago and it speaks on their behalf. It is to the people that the Parliament belongs and it is for the people every government must serve. But that has never taken place in Trinidad and Tobago. That is why Stuart Chan is going to put on his leotards and go down in Belmont to do Zumba for you. Because you're foolish. He thinks so. He thinks you're foolish. He come into the structure. He bring in Zumba girls. They come into wine and twerk for you on Piglet's Corner. That's what he coming to do. Because he don't think people understand the reason and purpose for government. He thinks government job is to take treasury money and come and stunt on Piglet's Corner. But it is not so. And there is a progressive empowerment party. People asking why the opposition so silent. The opposition not silent. They struck down. They struck down. They don't know what to do. They are watching a party, not in government, not in opposition, dominating the narrative in the country and raising the people like a rising tide raises all boats. We, the progressive empowerment party, exist to serve you. To serve they give you all the shit talk you want, but I want to tell you something. Red, white, black, green, every shade in between. There's nothing we don't tell that. There is no problem in this country, regardless of who you think is in charge of it or who benefiting from it, that this party doesn't stand against. We are demonstrating to you, to every single one of you in this country, that we will respect and uphold every law without fear or favor, malice or ill will, and will make sure that every single citizen of this country are treated with the respect that they deserve because this nation has never had a government that has, that has understood that the well-being of the citizens is the function and the reason and the purpose for government but the Progressive Empowerment Party does and we are very clear about that and we are not going to stop until we have a better nation and you, you have a part to play too. <laughs> is the member of parliament for Diego Martin West. His partner in crime, Daryl Smith, is the member of parliament for Diego Martin Central. And the acting prime minister and the deputy prime minister, Colm Embert, is the member of parliament for Diego Martin Northeast. All three Diego Martins are in the hands of the PNM and the infrastructure required. Richard Blaze, one of the security advisors of the Progressive Empowerment Party, Richard Blaze showed the nation two weeks ago islands down in the West Morin's end of the river and he said to Trinidad and Tobago, when the rain start to fall, flood going to come. One half day of rain, the Diego Martin River is on, is on full and we on alert. Boy, keep rolling, boy. Tell me, if you don't 
out and them stunting jackasses paying them on UNC coming to ask for your vote again? Madness! <laughs> result of the failure of government after government after government to respect the needs of the people and to ensure that the proceeds from the treasury is properly spent establishing and maintaining proper infrastructure for the operation of the country that is the purpose of government ignore the bullshit you see on the media ignore the stunting you see in the parliament all of that is jackassery circus and theater designed to distract you Government job is to keep the country going forward so that you can have a good life. That's it. If they are the reason why the economy puts sprouts when you're voting for them. Saturday, give, giving out food to homeless people. A man woke up to me, a homeless man, to have a conversation. And he said, why is the country like this? I said, because we keep voting. And I, couldn't, I can't say the word now. But we keep voting shit snakes into government. People who just don't care. People who want to build a bigger house on the top of Goodwood Park Hill. They don't care about you. They don't care about Lavantil and Mova and Beta and Silots. Keith Rowley certainly don't care about Abhi Puja and Big Yard and Scorpion. He don't care about Never Dirty. He don't care about Waterhole and, and, and Harden Place. Keith Rowley talks like Goodwood Park and Glencoe and Bayshore and West Morins is the only reason for his vote. <laughs> Because people tell me, you, know, you can't fix your life, you know. The people have been led so far astray that they don't know better. And I want to say, you know what? If that is indeed so, then it is time to step and stand up. <laughs> Do 
your lips. So we call upon to do. And those of you, those of you who think that I'm being obstructionist, and I'm being whatever you want to do, what we are being called upon to do. If you cannot call the cabinet, the parliament, and the political organization running the country to order and tell them this is unacceptable, that for one afternoon of rain, the nation cannot be ground to a flooding halt. And if you cannot do the job by Christ, resign, retire, dissolve the parliament, call an election, let people who can do the job. If it is that injustice is what they always show, when you're voting for them. Stop. 
stand up for Trinidad and Tobago. Belmont, East, and Barataria, tell them, you come in to ask me for my vote. I have flooding in my yard and my taps dry. Madness! You come in in my yard to talk to me about vote for you when every night I sleep in, I sleep in with one eye open in fear because I don't know what outside my house. You ought to be crazy. You can't pick up garbage on time, one little thing like that. You can't fix my roads. You can't put stop signs and street signs and white lines. Them long posts that want to fall on, crush my house. You can't fix that. But I must vote for you again. You've been there for 30 years. You couldn't do jack shit for nobody. I must vote for you now. To the people who want to give you all the reasons for to not vote for the Progressive Empowerment Party, just stand up and look around. And you will see all the reasons that you should. Because I'll give you one good reason, and I promise you, Anta Bego, this I will never end. I will make sure it is my responsibility in a PEP government to coordinate and organize that we go after your money, every single dollar that was stolen, and we will bring everybody who plundered and pillaged this nation's treasury, we will bring them to justice. We will follow them into their graves and go after their inheritors. Anybody who took money that belonged to the people of Trinidad and Tobago will give it back and they will have to give it back and we will bring all of them to justice. You should want that more than anything else for yourself, for your children. You should want a better country. We had money in this nation to make Dubai weep and shame. They have a handful of stunting jackasses outside there willing to gate talk and distract follow them go and click on their facebook go and see who their friends is go and see what their job is go and see how they're benefiting from plm and unc and you'll understand that is why they're stunting so to the people who it is impossible to reach their mind ignore them there is an entire 50 percent of this population who has never voted before it is to them we speak it is to you, all of the people who want a better country. You ever notice how the vast majority of people who have left Trinidad and Tobago to go and live in a developed country, when they look back to Trinidad and Tobago, it is one political party they support, the PEP, because they know what First World Nation sounds like. And they understand what representation is supposed to be. And the expats of Trinidad and Tobago, the million Trinidad living all over the world, they want a better Trinidad and Tobago more than anybody else. Not more than me, because I'm telling you, I want it bad. There have a lot of these sons and bitches I want brought to justice so bad. It's what's keep me going. But anyway, today, we are two weeks and a day away from a political earthquake that rocked the roots of the vampire system. Belmont East, don't get distracted by Zumba. Go and dance. If they hand your cheeses and Malta, take all of that, drink and eat. But vote wisely. Vote yourself a better future. Vote yourself a better nation. Vote water in the taps and jobs and affordable food and housing. Vote real representation. Vote an end to flooding and crime. Vote a government that will stand with you. Like I have been standing with the homeless for 25 years now feeding them. Like I have been standing with the orphans and the disabled community. Vote for a government that cares for people, that have a heart for people. Don't be distracted by paid political bullshit artists. You stay focused. You look around. Three trillion dollars, 56 years later, the country worse than when the Queen was here. Who responsible? Not the PNM and the UNC. A better day is dawning. Vote for that better day. Vote yourself a better country. Vote for the Progressive Empowerment Party. Stay safe, Trinidad and Tobago.